first edition of The Holy Land and Egypt and Nubia by David Roberts. I'm Adam Douglas, Senior Specialist in Rare Books at Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you a little more of this sumptuous set. This is a complete set of David Roberts' favorite, famous work in matching contemporary bindings. Uh, they was bound shortly after the series was completed by Heyday and Company, London Binders. And as you can see, it's sumptuously done in red Morocco. It's actually a half red Morocco binding, so the spines and the corners are in Morocco, and the sides of the boards are in matching pebble grain uh, cloth, red matching cloth. So the whole effect um, is quite stunning with these lovely full gilt spines and the lettering. Now the book was issued originally to subscribers in parts and it was offered in three formats and this is the most luxurious of the three formats offered. It was by far the most expensive format and it's the most desirable format for collectors nowadays. It's the deluxe colored format with each plate hand colored and finished and the plates mounted onto thick card uh, in imitation of watercolors. So the effect is exactly like having your own gallery of uh, the Middle East in your own home. The way the book was uh, constructed was that uh, you get a leaf of description of letterpress text here. Um, and then there is a tissue guard, it's actually thicker than tissue, it's a thin paper guard for the individual plates. Now these are tinted lithographs. Uh, this book has been described as the apotheosis of the tinted lithograph. It's, it's the last moment really um, before, uh, after this photography replaces it as a technique. But you see here the sumptuous detail that you can get into these plates. And in this deluxe colored format, the individual plates are trimmed and mounted onto this thick card. And I hope you can see, if we go very close, you can just see the edge of the paper. You can see that it's mounted. You can perhaps just see there. And uh, one thing that sometimes happens as a result of this is that there is some rippling in some of the plates. And uh, of course, it's a, a book that uh, any kind of damp staining would be fatal to. But this copy is a beautiful copy. Um, and the binding is in part responsible for that. And it's also been well stored. Now, the book was published in two great sequences, uh, which make up three enormous folio volumes. The whole set is six volumes together. But it was these Egyptian scenes that really captured the public imagination when the book was published. Um, sumptuous scenes that people had not seen in such painterly detail. And uh, here, the famous plate, the Samoon in the desert, the Sphinx there and the setting sun showing Robert's skills at their height. For more details on this and other works, please see the Peter Harrington website.